Um, and I get flack for it when I first did my when I did my first interview with my lost subscribers. Yeah, and I want them back because. You know, they threatened to cancel me when I, because the first interview I did with him, he said, fuck George Floyd and fuck mm. Trayvon Martin. And then um, my subscribers went from like 749 to like 748. You know, it was small yeah. loss, but I was like, nah, I can't, I can't, I can't cop out. I can't cop out. Like this guy's special. He's special, man. And, um, you know, that, that Gilly the Kid, when he went at Gilly the Kid about Pop Smoke, I mean, Pop Hunter snitching, that shit took him to another level. Got you. So, like, um, when I was hitting you up about Charleston, my biggest fear though, was you losing your YouTube all together. Mm -hmm. uh, you talking at the time, like you said, some 700,000, you over 800 now. Yeah. It was like, I know how hard you worked. I know the sacrifices you made to get to that level. Mm hmm and when they're like the, the you know, him going at the Asian community or saying what he's saying, I was scared that may be something that you wake up the next morning and your stuff was gone. It's like, it was cool for me, like, dude, interview him. He Y'all y'all work well together. Mm -hmm. But I was scared that you may lose it all yeah. for that message. Yeah, you know, YouTube works off a three-strike basis. Okay. So, shit, by strike one, I would fix some things up. And then when he really went on that crazy rant, we beeped him the whole interview. I don't know if Yeah, I saw that. that. So yeah, I'm I'm really aware on that. And um, you know, you're right, because that was around the time he was losing. He lost his page. Yeah. So yeah, that, that was a, that was kind of a thing I watched out for, but I never really like let him go too far. And if in when that interview when he did, we bleeped him the whole interview. Gotcha.